Murillo, and, and you know, Bolt has to do something which most other athletes, well, all other athletes don't have to do. You know, he's all the demands he has this week uh, for all types of media, etc. Also has to take all of that in his stride, which he usually does, of course. He's in lane six. Jamili in eight. We'll go through them one by one here from the outside. Now, this man, um, if you if you want to. <laughs> see somebody who uh, gets a surprise when uh, he was told he'd won the gold medal at the European Championships in uh, Amsterdam because Martina had been uh, disqualified. Well, uh, he certainly showed it. Jamili, well, uh, chatting to him at the hotel. He's uh, a little bit of a cold early in the week, so he was going to run the 100 heats today, but only in the 200, so let's see how he goes here. Alonso Edward getting back into some very good form, won the Diamond League in Monaco. Here he is, though. Hero for so many, and this big crowd here in the Olympic Stadium hoping he can give them something to cheer. What about this man here, Brendan Rodney? Probably did not too many people know him, sub 20 seconds, the Canadian champion this year. Very talented. Christophe Lemaitre, athletic fans will certainly know him. Came back to some uh, pretty good form in Monaco, ran much better. Season's best there, 2024, and he was second behind Edward. Nikhil Ashmead, well, he knows both very well, usually the man in the past, anyway, the man who's handed to him in the relay. But Danny Talbot, because of that disqualification in the final of the European Championships, he moved up into third place, took the bronze medal. Going to Rio, of course. And then on the inside, Sean McLean, 24-year-old American. New person best this year. So the scene set, a familiar one for Usain Bolt, a one which has oh, given him, of course, so many memories. I'm sure he still has of 2012. So much has happened, of course, since then, but that will never, ever be taken away from him. He was the star of the games, as he so often is. He is the star of tonight, and we've had such a great night so far. What can this great man, this great athlete, deliver for us the men's 200 meter final foot false start well, i don't think it was bolt <laughs> so um, we'll wait to see uh, we'll put cotton i waiting to see it was all the way in lane one possibly that's come up on the computer as a reaction time of 0 0.077 and if you're in lane one in the 200 meters against you said bolt you may be thinking, man, no one's watching, I'll get away quick. Doesn't work that way. So let's see if that is what the officials, or if they go with the machinery. That all just adds a little, doesn't it, Colin, to um, the drama? We yeah, love so drama. <laughs> we love drama. We love drama. But that will relax that man, won't it? Because he is under a little bit of pressure because he's now thinking to himself, what do I need to do? I'd say run faster. Well, I think he's going to have one less to beat. The athlete in lane one is disqualified. Ah, oh, sure. Sean McLean, this may well be... Uh, I'm trying to think in terms of... Um, Big meets he did run in the Oslo Diamond League and then uh, and in Birmingham, but maybe a little bit of nerves on the big stage here just got to him in lane one. Anyway, so as we were down to eight men. So Talbot in two, Ashmead in three, Lemaitre in four, Rodney, the very good Canadian in lane oh, five, yeah. with Usain Bolt in lane six, Edward, the winner of the last Diamond League in Monaco, in lane seven. Then Adam Jamili is in lane eight, and the, U, the new European champion from Spain, Otolano, in lane nine. Stand up, gentlemen, please. Well, this isn't going well, is it? You could hear the interference that was. 
uh, coming through the speakers, which in the start it was right to bring them up. It's nobody's fault there, and I don't. The crowd surely, um, I'm sure they heard it as well. It shouldn't really jeer Colin. Got to be fair to the athletes. No, you've got to give them that opportunity really to concentrate and focus. This is a big race for many of these athletes. Remember, and no bigger race than for this man here. Maybe the mechanism's getting nervous. It's Aren't you merely staying calm? As indeed is Bolt, I'm sure. Doesn't help though. On your marks. He wants to win this, and just a quick reminder the fastest time in the world this year, though, is 19.74, LaShawn Merritt, so far this season. Set. Safely win this time, and Bolt is into his stride. It started pretty quickly. It's chasing down Edward. He's run a very good bend here. Lamecha trying to get back into this, but Usain Bolt leading in the minute. Jamelian about third. Talbot won a good bend, but Bolt has got two metre lead. Edward is coming back at him. Bolt fighting hard. He's got clear air, and he wins it. 1990. The win for Bolt. He's back in business. It wasn't super fast, but it was good enough tonight to beat a pretty good field, and it was certainly good enough to please a very big crowd. And for Usain Bolt, a confidence booster that will just send a little bit of a message to say 1989, okay, by his standards, that's not really that fast. But let's face it, there still aren't many people in the world can do that, can run under 20 seconds. And if he's healthy, and he's undoubtedly Colin going to improve and get quicker by the time we get to Rio. He doesn't look too happy at the minute, does he? But I'm sure he'll be uh, happy to get that under his belt. They've got the win at a pretty solid time. Yeah, I think he'd be happy in the sense that that race is out of the way, it's out of the system. So first time is a really strong performance for me. To go into 20 seconds is great. To go into 19.90, it's good. Four hundred yards. Fifth fastest in the world this year. Your first competitive 200 meters. Rio's three weeks away. The athletics program starts. Are you in shape? Yeah, I'm getting there. I'm not fully in shape. I need more work, but over time, I'll be fine. So I'm going to take my time and I'm going to work. So the approach you been a little bit tentative on the curve, or did you really go for the curve? Because it looked like you really exploded off the curve. Yeah, I, I tried to go for the curve, but I said I don't think I executed well at uh, the start. Kind of cold us up a little bit, but the key things that came out injury free, so I'm happy about that. It looked smooth. Your execution off the bend looked amazing. Start looking better. Your start yeah. looked actually pretty good. A little tentative on the curve, I thought, but other than that, I think it looked good, so I approve. I appreciate that. <laughs> I know you love this stadium. You love coming here. Does it feel as special as ever to come back to yeah, London? Yeah, it's always great. It's a lot of fun. Uh, the energy is always great here, that's why I love it, so I'm happy. And you're hungry as ever? Always, always hungry. <laughs> great to have you here, Thank Usain. You so I'm going to let you go do your lap of honor. Maybe we'll catch right, up with you a little bit later on when he catches his breath back. Usain Bolt, as always, giving the crowd here something to cheer about and a performance that he seems moderately happy with, Michael. Yeah, I think that he would have been happy with that. I mean, the fastest time in the world this year, 19.74. He's run 19.90. And with a relatively easy race, you know, I think that that's exactly what he would have needed. I think that he will feel very confident with that. We will expect much faster as he goes into Rio because that will give him confidence that he is healthy. He thought he was. Now he has confirmation of that. Now he can go and work on speed and speed endurance. And I think he's set up very well for the, uh, for the Michael, we will talk Rio. more about you saying more about some incredible performances.